Good morning, running late. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Welcome to your Thursday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum here with some words of wisdom to start your day off well. Hope you're all doing well, sending good energy to the south as they work their way through this mess. Good morning, Abigail. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> Just couldn't get my butt out of bed today. It was one of those days. <laughs> good morning, Janine. Welcome. Good morning, Joniel. Good morning, good morning. Abigail, everybody's starting to pop in. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Just one of those days. So, good morning, Tammy. Haven't seen you in a while. Glad you're here. Welcome. So, we again have the Soul Coaching Deck, What Your Soul Wants You to Know by Denise Lynn. And this card is actually one of my favorite cards in the whole deck, mainly because it's green. <laughs> but we'll take it, right? So here's our card for today. Adventure. Adventure. So let's take some nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Yes, it was. It was chilly here. We're in the 30s. Good morning, Ruthann. Glad you're here. Good morning, Gwen. I'll bet you, Nicola, it's not in the 30s by the Ruthann. <laughs> in through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good morning, Beth. <clears throat> so adventure is our card for today. And the bottom says, wonderful new experiences fill my life. Wonderful new experiences fill my life. And if that's what you believe, that's what you'll be living. So let's take that on. Let's really draw that in with the breath. In. And out. Good morning, Mel. Glad you're here. Adventure. That's our card. Here we go. Card meaning. Take risks. You're entering new frontiers and a period of expansions. Well, we already know we're in that period of expansion because all hell's breaking loose, right? That can be a sign that things are shifting. Things are changing. We just need to ride the wave as best we can. Here, this next line. Ready for this one? 50s by you. Okay, yep, we're in the 30s already. <laughs> Welcome to Wisconsin. Um, go beyond self-imposed limitations. Thank you, Cindy, for posting that. Go beyond self-imposed limitations. I think that's a huge piece of this card. We create adventure when we're willing to try something we're unsure about. Now, that can be a big thing, could be a little thing, doesn't really matter. It could be taking a different way to work. But that creates adventure because it's the unknown. And many of us avoid the unknown. But that's really the edge of where life happens, is when we're not sure what comes next. <clears throat> Go beyond self-imposed limitations. Look at the world around you in new and different ways. Something exciting is just around the corner. Your soul wants you to know. Adventure entails risks, and without them, existence, existence can become stagnant and lackluster. And I will suggest to you that for the most part, we vastly overestimate the risks. And sometimes after doing something, we can look back and go, oh yeah, that wasn't as dangerous as I thought it was on the front end. If your life seems uninspired in some areas, be willing to take risks and try something new. Don't wait until an amazing opportunity presents itself. Start with small adventures, and they will create momentum for bigger and bolder ones to come. Try changing your hair color or style, or drive a different way to work. Here it is, drive a different way to work. <laughs> Go into a store you've not gone into before. Have a, strike up a conversation with someone you're standing in line by. There's many, many ways to do this. Think of it as comfort. Yes, yes. How much do we overrate comfort? And could we balance that comfort, those comfortable periods, with some periods of discomfort, growth, momentum, etc., and then go back to comfort, retreat to comfort, and then just kind of go back and forth a bit. Kind of like riding a bicycle. You pedal and then you coast, and then you pedal, and then you coast. Good morning, Bobby, glad you're here. Our card for today is adventure. Adventure. <clears throat> this next one always makes me laugh because really, truly, I have a pretty strong streak of introvert. Not that most people can tell, but I do. 
<clears throat> if you're shy, walk up to a stranger and start talking. <laughs> but you can do little things. You're standing in line by somebody and comment on something. It can be a little thing. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be multiple exchanges. Could be you say something, they, something, they say something back, or they grunt at you or whatever. Good enough. Good enough. Pat yourself on the back. Yay me. I did it. If you take enough small risks, soon your life will become a great and grand adventure. So again, it doesn't have to be skydiving or bungee jumping or, you know, something like that. It can be a series of small things. I've never gone down this road before. I've never gone to a movie by myself. I've not gone out to eat by myself. Baby steps, baby steps. Try something, see what happens. <clears throat> Again, the affirmation, wonderful new experiences fill my life. Fun thing to do is just take a little time on the internet. So you can Google things like, I'll give you some ideas, thrift stores near me or best restaurants near me. Good morning, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Well, good evening, Linda. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. I'll show you our card quick. Adventure. We are creating adventure in our lives. Look at... Um, your local university, like if you've got, we've got um, several in our area for what they've got for adult learning classes. Maybe you do an adult learning class. Maybe there's a class online you take. Maybe you go to the library and a solo movie date. There we go. Yes, yes. Good morning, Deb. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. So what can you do to add a little oomph to your life? I like taking drives. I like taking drives. Like today, I know I'm where I'm going to drive because there's a house for sale and I want to look at it. <laughs> so I'll drive down that road. And it's not a road you typically would drive down because the main drag is here and it's like several blocks off and it's just a loop in and of itself. So there's not much back there that anyone would go there unless they knew somebody, right? So try some different food. Try a different grocery store. If you typically go to pick and save, go to festival. If you have a local grocery store, one of those little ones, go there. If you've got an organic grocery, go there. Do some things that give you opportunities to try things you haven't tried before. Maybe there's a fruit you've never tried before. Maybe they've got kumquats, whatever. Try something different. See what you think. Even if you decide, I hate this, you learned something. How fabulous is that? So maybe you join a book club. Little bitty things that um, allow you to experience life from different perspective, through different lenses. Try it out. See what you get. So that is our mission for this fine Thursday, is have some adventures. Have some adventures. They, again, they can be little bitty adventures. What can you come up with for today? For an adventure. Put it in the feed. And I'd love to hear from some of you about yesterday's breath work <coughs> and tapping. What did you notice from the tapping? So, and I'll go back and read the, um, you know, and I'm wondering, did I even post yesterday on the other platforms? It was just one of those days, you know, where you kind of can't get out of your own way. So I did some grounding, centering stuff, and that was helpful. But then I was off and running with all the things I had to do for the day. Had a um, meeting at the church, which went really well, I think. Um, <clears throat> they even got to see the bowling alley. So that was cool. <laughs> so have an awesome Thursday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember you're capable far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.